All right, hey guys, and welcome to another Blender Quick Tips tutorial. Today we're going to be talking about a technique called binding cameras to keyframes. And uh, what it allows us to do is uh, use multiple cameras in a scene uh, on individual frames that we want them to, to increase render time so we don't have to render out each individual camera's view and then cut the frames. So what we're gonna start off doing here is I have this example test scene here, and it doesn't really matter what scene you have because this will work with any scene pretty much. Um, so here, you'll can see if we play the animation, this one kind of pans around the camera this way, and this camera just rotates up from the bottom view to the top view of this uh, this cube here. And so what I want to have happen is this camera to be active on frame 20, and this camera to be active on frame 0 to frame 20. And it's really, really easy on how we accomplish this. So what we're going to do first is go to the first part where you want this primary camera to be active, the first uh, frame, and you go down here in the timeline and you press M, which will create a marker. Now if we press Control M, or maybe I have to have it selected and then Control M. Nope, maybe not. Uh, I don't know why, but it uh, doesn't seem to be working there. So we'll just rename the marker manually, and this will be called Primary Camera. And now, so that's there, and now we'll also go over here onto frame 20, which is the frame we want to have this camera become active, and we'll make another marker, and we'll press Control M, or maybe, no, I don't know why it's not working on my keyboard, that's a bit odd, but um, here we can also change this to secondary camera, I can't spell today. <laughs> All right, so now that we have these two, what we do here is first, we have our primary camera marker selected, and we go to the frame it's on, which is frame one, and so now right here, you'll see this here, and what we want to do is select this camera, and then go back down to here into the the, uh, the timeline on our marker and press Control B. So now this camera right here is bound to this primary camera marker. So that's really good. And so now if we you know go here, it will be this camera by default and rotate around the scene. But on frame 20, it does not change this other one. And that's because on frame 20, we have to you know select the secondary camera and then bind this camera to the secondary marker. So we'll go down here and now we'll press Control B. And so now this one is bound on frame 20. But you'll see here as we get to see on frame 19, this one's still active, but on frame 20, this one becomes active. So now if we go ahead and play the entire animation, we'll see here that these two are playing like that. So that's it for camera binding. Uh, it's pretty simple and straightforward. And I uh, hope you learned a little bit in this tutorial. Uh, thanks for watching, bye.